fuck? God damn it. Oh my god. Oh my god. My freaking kick. Oh my god. Please leave. Oh. Oh, you. You didn't get stunned. You didn't get stunned. You didn't get stunned. Oh no. No! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm just running away! Oh fuck! Oh shit! No! Do that! Oh my god! Oh no! God damn it! No! No! How sh oh my god! Oh no! God damn it! Oh my god, I should have healed. Oh, I should have healed. God damn it, we're so close. Yeah, RE7 was the most serious. And then you meet the- you go to the DLC and it's like peak Capcom. You have the- I forgot what his name is. With Uncle Baker with the friggin' Infinity Gauntlets. You had Chris DLC and then you can immediately Some tell the, like a stark me. difference of playing as Ethan versus playing as Chris, where he just like punches enemies and then straight up destroyed like uh he was like on a recon mission to like like I don't know deal with like the place blowing up or something and then he's like how do I solve this? I'll just like freaking punch the freaking monitor thing uh, or like he like punched the computer or something and then his his subordinate was like you idiot. I mean you saved the world but goddamn you're an idiot. <laughs> like. This is why you're known as a boulder punching asshole. Um, oh, here we go. We got it. So, extreme difficulty mad chainsaw mode incoming. Selecting decline challenge will begin the game in standard difficulty. Mad chainsaw mode will be applied only to the single playthrough. You must wait until mad chainsaw mode is triggered again for subsequent attempts. This mode is specific to the demo and is not included in the final game. So. I can't believe they Today made I'll that cannon. It. Yeah, I just, it's just it's just so funny. Like you know you know how like in RE8 when you meet the the bosses for the first time and they're just all sitting around talking. I mean, well they're arguing. I just imagine them having a legitimate conversation where they're like, yeah, you know, you know that Chris guy, he punched a boulder. <laughs> RE5 had to be canon. Hey, RE5 was canon in the uh, Netflix uh, Resident Evil we don't talk about. The original Albert Wesker. He died in a volcano. It's okay though, he wasn't very nice. I'd rather watch CG movies. Uh, I'm gonna be real. I was- I haven't seen the CG movie. I've only seen the- the, the Netflix one. Which was... Not... Great. But I watched the Netflix live action and I had a- I- I had to watch it. Like... I tried like seven times before I finished it. It's so bad. But there are some aspects of it that were really good. What was that? But or not really good, but they were acceptable. No fucking way. Like the uh the actor for Wesker was really good. Uh it's just like, you know, he didn't have much to work with. <laughs> I want Pornhub to shred your resume. He, he, he tried his best with, with, with the script that he got, so... You know? Would you rather play RE6 solo or rewatch RE live show again? Uh, damn. So you're literally asking me which, like, because both of those give me physical pain. I cannot play Resident Evil 6 for more than 30 minutes without getting an actual headache. I have fallen asleep multiple times watching that live action. And also, there's like cringe. There's actual physical wincing that I experienced. But, uh, I would say RE6. Because at least... They're somewhat self-aware of how stupid it is. But yeah, you're- you're- that's a hard ask, my dude. <laughs> Alright, what's our plan? Plan of attack, I don't know. Just keep on hoping, praying to pray to God. Oh, 
go. Here we go again. Ah, shit. Here we go again. It's my lucky day. Yes, it is, Leon. <laughs> Oh, he's that way. Oh, hey, we got it. Okay, we're doing good. Do we still have another grenade? Oh my god. Oh. 
stressful that is a village experience that is definitely a village experience <laughs> all right time for one more the leon liner you deserved it leon where's everyone going bingo yay leon you did it you said the line i'm so happy 